Hello, Taurus Davici here from astrology.com.au. Look at your chart for this month and you'll notice the cluster of planets here in the upper part of the horoscope. Moon moves straight into this area and then on the second makes a pretty tough aspect to Saturn and transformative Pluto. And this ninth house has everything to do with expanding your horizons. Notice also that the karmic nodes are here on the third and the ninth axis. So learning higher education and using that energy, that influence, that insight to expand your opportunities in work. It's all about expansion and self-empowerment. And I think that would be the theme this month. This transformative conjunction of the moon with Pluto is also accentuated by the transit of your ruling planet Venus into this eighth house of transformation where it will make contact with Jupiter this month. That itself is a very expansive position. And I'm not going to de deliberate too much more on this aspect or transit of Uranus in your sun sign. We know that that is shaking things up and uh, causing you to try new things, to be a little bit daring, a little bit more bolder than you normally are. Um, and here we see the visionary aspect also shown by this uh, conjunction of the moon and Neptune in your 11th house. We talked about that last month, aligning yourself with people that can give you the encouragement and the upliftment you need to, you know, to, to achieve those things that you want to achieve. And this is a critical period in your life where your value system is, is very much being challenged. That has been a recurrent theme for you as shown by Pluto and Saturn. Pluto, a very slow moving planet, but Saturn around two and a half years in this sign, working on reshaping your value system. Oh, a few hyper nervous events here, especially which we haven't talked about the retrogression of Mercury in your seventh house with the sun moving into the middle part of the month. So any negotiations that you are working on with your lover, with your business partner, that needs to be approached with delicate care, especially as the full moon of the 13th here is making its full impact on this seventh house as well. So there's a lot of strong energy there as far as your marriage, your partnerships and a rethink now, I'm not saying you're going to leave your partner. Don't uh, misconstrue what I'm saying. But when that full moon is shining, it's full light. And you've got that retrogression of Mercury. And keep your eye here on Mars moving from the sixth house of workaholism <laughs> into this marital sector. Then it could be a reappraisal of just the protocol of the way you communicate with each other. Speaking of communication here on the 16th, Notice the opposition aspects from the moon to Saturn and Pluto. Again, that's showing your style is influencing this area of your horoscope. The triangular aspects, these blue lines are favorable from the communications third house to the marital and partnerships seventh house. That's how I read that square aspect here, though, which relates to your domestics and your family life through the period of the 19th and 20th. Mars is about to move into this area, so that happens on the 19th itself. So that, that en look, that can energize, but you see here straight after the stationary position of Mercury in this seventh house, and the 22nd and 23rd, here it is, the 21st, it's stationary, then it moves direct, which gives you the green light, thumbs up, to do what it was you had intended to do in that relationship and very, very forcefully so too. Here we notice that Mars is one of the rulers of your seventh house of partnership. And so there's a, bit, a, a, a sort of a growing influence around this area, seventh house, which is the relationship itself and the shared resources and also intimacy. Eighth house is intimacy. I love the word into me see. So the sun moves into that they're around the 22nd, 23rd of November, bringing its energy into this area. Notice the sun rules your fourth house. Fourth house is your peace of mind. It's not good for the fourth ruler to be in this eighth house, but fortunately you have your ruling planet Jupiter here. That's that conjunction I said, which is very, very lucky. 
So al although we've got this harrowing eighth house sun, and then the new moon that's going to take place here right at the tail end of the month, the protective influence of Venus and Jupiter ensures that you can make some headway in that area. Communication should be all systems go, but the it's not too close a proximity, but close enough that can unsettle those discussions. The new moon here shows a new chapter opening up. Be careful how you use these communications energies in your relationship, because that's going to determine the power, the strength, the closeness of that intimacy, and how vulnerable you are prepared to be, because intimacy really is all about vulnerability. Towards the end of the month, we see a repeat of what happened earlier in the month with the new moon energy coming up here into the ninth house, giving you a strong inclination to shift your learning skills or to start a whole lot of new learning skills for that purpose of self-expansion, self-understanding, and uh, generally better opportunities in life. Venus here is also very, very lucky. This is showing some good fortune, especially this south node here when it's connected to Venus. It shows maybe old friends, old lovers coming into the picture, or old patterns that ha are having to be dealt with at that time. Hope that's helped. Please subscribe. We, we'd love to see you back here. Love to see you at uh, the site, astrology.com.au. We can extrapolate on everything I've said here. It's just skimming the surface daily, monthly, yearly readings, free tarot readings, of course, readings with me if you'd like a more personalized one-on-one -on -one to get down to the nitty-gritty. And uh, that I love more than anything. I use the Vedic uh, Indian-based astrology for that to get right down deep into your karma, close and, close and personal. I will... Uh, I will see you next month and look forward to your company again. Bye-bye now.